We lit with Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 107. What's up, everybody? It's Sammy Approved checking in right here at behind the scenes at Birthday Bash backstage, and I am here with my man. What's up? It's Alex from Bossup.com here with your girl Sammy and our friends. Yes, yeah, Miami. What's up? Yo, what's up? Miami. Many girls in the building. Period. Period. <laughs> period. <laughs> I gotta just come out the gate and ask you, like, you know, well, first off, congrats. Thank you. Congrats. Congrats, congrats to congrats. you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Father's Day is approaching, Uh-oh. and I want to know. <laughs> How, what What are your baby daddy requirements? Just to lay up with me. Lay up. That's all you need? Mm-hmm. Nothing else. <laughs> no, he just wanted to feel me, see me, as long as he could spend time with me. No, I'm just saying in general, like a baby daddy, what do you look for in a baby daddy? Cause oh, like if any, like, yeah, just in general, like qualities. Um, You got to have a career. That's okay. One. That's what You got to be stable, mm-hmm. consistent. I just need somebody that's hard work, hard working, take care of their kids if they got kids, and just a man all overall. Like I'm tired of these little boys, so be- better be, <laughs> better be, and that's that's it. Well, that's that on that. Well, let me ask you this: I know you love snacks. I do too, uh-huh. obviously. But uh, what are you been craving lately? What you been craving the most lately? Pineapples with <laughs> Caesar salt. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> what season salt? Pineapple. Yeah, I, now I've really been craving season salt for real with pineapples. Yes, that's interesting. <laughs> try. I don't know if I want to try that. I'm, t- I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> she be <laughs> raiding the ice yes, cream you truck. You ever been though. to LA? You yeah. ever try? Yeah. You ever with the mango with the the chili pep? The powder? That's, yeah, that's I'm Indian. Indian. I'm actually uh, half Indian, so like I, 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 know. I feel like they just call no, it no in real life. Don't oh, for real. Me. I, I feel like Indian. they just call it chili pepper, but that's the same salt. It's season salt. salt. Oh. So it's on pineapples. It tastes so good. Really? Oh my god! I'm try it just for you. No then. more sugar straws for you. Thank me later. <laughs> Thank me later. <laughs> okay, let me ask you. So I've been seeing all these videos and these lives with your friend Santana. Can we see a show with y'all soon? Like, can we get a network to pick y'all up? Are y'all Uh-oh. working on something like that? Cause y'all are hilarious. Coming soon. I say coming soon. Um, I think we'll get some of it like sooner than later because everybody requesting it. So it's like, why not? How long have you known him? That's like your close friend. It seems. No, like. I just I, I met Santana like last year. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, I've been knowing him for like a year and a half. Oh, really? Yeah, I ain't been knowing him that long, but that's my <laughs> friend. I love him. It feel like I've been knowing him forever. Y'all are hilarious. So I'm gonna <laughs> let y'all have it. I'm gonna let y'all have that. Can you talk <laughs> talk about the baddest B? Trina and how she's influenced you. She's just so cool. And Come on, Miami. Yeah, you know. You know, you know how it is. growing up, and she's from Miami, so she got that Miami slang. She got that Miami attitude. Like, I'm the best chick. Yeah. And she got that F that nigga, you know, attitude <laughs> that encouraged the city girl. So just growing up, listening to her and her being from Miami, she's just very supportive of the city girls, and I just... She inspired me through her music because <laughs> I, mean, I was rapping her music for like I knew what I was talking like, <laughs> about. We didn't know nothing where was you? It. Where was you at when Nan came out? Now, where were, what were you doing? What grade was you in? Too young. <laughs> too young to be thinking I probably out. was like, probably going to middle school or in middle school, uh-huh. probably like six, seven. Grade. Yeah, we were. We yeah, were. I wasn't for in sure. high school at all. Nope. I probably was like in elementary on my but way But you to, knew every word. That'll be like my period on. <laughs> wait, wait, I don't love her. Like, what? <laughs> so, like, can I can I ask you, like, I mean, obviously you spent a lot of time QC, you spent a lot of time in Atlanta, but what is so special about the city of Miami? What's so special about Florida in general? Like, it's a lot of music that comes yeah. out of Florida. Just, Say it. Like me, I just feel like people always be like, do you see yourself in Miami? I'm like, no. Why? What? Because I'm um, like, I never been out of Miami besides rapping, so it's like. Everywhere I go, I feel like I can't adapt to it. Like, you know, I just love Miami. It's the weather, the culture, the music, the people. You know, we got the jet skis. We got the water. Then we got the hood. Mm-hmm. So it's just like I'm just so used to it. It's like when I come somewhere else, I just be like. Can you swim? Yeah. Uh-oh. I'm curious. I can, I'm swim. I can swim under the water, on top of the water, backwards, forwards. She's like, period. I can float. I that. What yeah. advice did Cardi give you about your pregnancy? Did y'all have girl talk when you announced it officially? No, we we haven't talked yet, but you know, like always, just period. When I talk to Cardi, she just always be like, "If I did it, you can do it." Like, no, right. nobody tell you you can't do it. So right. she just always like, you know, the media go. She uh, important thing she told me is when you on the bottom, everybody root for you because they feel like you know they always want to see the underdog win. But when they feeling like you at a certain level. 
they can't take it. They mm. feel like you win it, so they want to tell you that. Oh, word. <laughs> so what? I feel like that because it's like I always get so much backlash, and it's like what I'm doing wrong. Right. I'm just doing what I was said I was going to do. So I get it. It was like when we was the underdogs and we was coming up, everybody was rooting for us. But now that they feel like I'm at a certain level where they feel like I made it, it's mm. like. You know, I got people coming at me sideways. Right. Yeah. When I'm just out here, rap just working, just the way they working. Why they be hating on you, you so hard, though? You so hard? Why? You know, I feel like, you know, when JT was out, it wasn't, it was City Girl. So it wasn't just the focus on one. So it's like, now it's me. They get to just criticize me as an individual. How does it feel to perform by yourself and not have the person that you came? Because you, I, it worked. What, was it you or JT that wasn't, it was you that I wasn't rapping, rap. yeah. Mm-mm. So, why do you, like, how does it feel to be a solo act, essentially? I mean, I know you represent for the City Girls, but, yeah. like, how does it feel to be by yourself and do all these shows? I, I mean, I feel like, you know, at first I was nervous because I was, like, I was, it was just, like, everything was new for me. So, yeah. it was, like, first time in the studio, first time on tour. So, it was, like, when she left, we was going on tour with Baby. So, I'm, like, how do I'm going to hold this <laughs> off like this? Like, girl, I'm, like, first tour by myself. Like, I got to hide the power. I got to do this. But it was, like, when I got up there, the energy was there, and it was just, like. Such a responsibility because y'all records have energy. Y'all records have, like, the vibe. I think that, that that's what I love so much about the City Girls. And it's, it's you representing for everybody. You got to hold you gotta hold the team on your no, back right now. Especially y'all yeah. ladies. I got to represent for the ladies. Thank you, sis. I appreciate you so much. I'm going to just be over here. Yeah, yeah I, I support y'all. <laughs> And JT doing good, right? Yeah, you you talk to her all she the time. Right? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah. I can't wait to see her. I can't wait to see y'all both back on the stage. Oh, man. And holding down for that show. girls. And um, I'm excited to see you kill. Thank you. Thanks for having me. No problem. Oh, man. Thanks for coming nice in talk to talking to us. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, Thank this you. is Sammy Approved checking in right now for Hot 1079 presented by Hennessy at Birthday Bash. Period.